I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber on YouTube. It is related to the applications of maximum and minimum. The question here is find two numbers whose sum is 20 and sum of whose squares is a minimum. That's the question for you. So let us say that let the numbers be let us say s and p so these are the two variables defined and we know their sum is 20 that means s plus p is equals to 20 now from here we can write one variable in terms of another so let me write s equals to 20 minus p right so and i'll call this as my equation number one now the second condition given to us is and sum of whose square is a minimum, right? So let's find sum of their squares. Sum of squares means s square plus p square. See, these are the two numbers, and that should be minimum. This sum of squares is minimum. So this is what we want as minimum. Is that okay? So this one, this is sum of squares. So let's call this as s m, right? For minimum right we want to minimize this so this is to be minimum that is the condition correct now let us say this value m is equals to what the minimum value we'll try to figure it out we know it is s square plus p square so s could be written as 20 minus p so i'll replace s with 20 minus p so we have 20 minus p and that is whole square plus p square plus p square so that is what we get as the sum of their squares the idea is to minimize this sum of squares now we have now single variable it's like a quadratic equation which we can solve right so let me expand this when i expand it i get 20 square let me write 20 square minus 2 times 20 times p plus p square that is the expansion of the first term plus p square is it okay now if you simplify this we get 2p square and this is minus 40 p and 20 square is is 400 correct so that is the expression which you get which you could take two common so we said two common p square minus 20 p plus 200 now that is that is what you get here right so this is your equation in single variable now to find minimum at this stage you can do a couple of methods you could do partial factoring or you can factor and then do it what I will do is I'll do completing the squares. So let's do complete squares for minimum. Okay. Now uh, for completing squares, we have minimum m is equals to this two is already outside. I'll let me put square brackets p square minus 20p so we'll do half of this to make a perfect square and square it so that is half of 20 is 10 so we'll add and subtract 10 square is it okay 10 square and then we have plus 200 we we'll write plus 200 so that gives us two times within bracket now these three terms form a perfect square right that's the whole idea that's the process of completing squares which is p minus 10 whole square right minus 10 square is 100 let me write here 100 plus 200 correct so now we can open this bracket so we get 2 times p minus 10 whole square and that is 100 times 2 so that gives us 200 right so minus 100 from 200 is 100 and we are multiplying by 2 we are opening the bracket also so that is a parabola right so this parabola as you know 
opens upwards right this is a parabola which opens upwards kind of like this whose vertex gives us a minimum and this vertex the turning point is at 10 and the minimum value is 200 and the minimum value is 200 correct so we get our answer so the numbers are so p so p equals to 10 will give us minimum now if p is 10 what is s for us s will be equals to 20 minus 10 which is also 10 right and therefore our answer is the two numbers the numbers are rather both the same right so numbers are 10 and 10 right so these are the numbers so you'll find 10 plus 10 is 20 and some of their squares is also minimum i hope that helps thank you and all the best.